Greetings. We're here in the Wallowa Whitman National Forest in Northeast Oregon. We stopped along the trail to take a look at one of our favorite trees, pine. You wonder what makes pine so special? Well, it's not just a wood that you can make stuff out of or burn. It's a good hot wood to burn at least. But if you're into wilderness survival or bushcraft or that sort of thing, you'll know that the needles have vitamin C. And if you don't have any with you, or you're out on the trail, or in a survival situation, and you need a little vitamin C hit, make some pine needle tea. It's good stuff. It'll give you a little immune system boost, as you know. But the other thing that pine needles are good for, which not everybody knows, is why they have a specific smell. It's pinene. That's a plant terpene, or plant oil. And pinene is found in other stuff like yarrow and various other plants. And it's why it has that pungent smell. But it's not just good for smell, it's also uh, anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial. So if you uh, have a cold or a flu, it can help with uh, some of the aches and pains and help kill any uh, bacteria that may be growing in various places. You can definitely uh, apply it to a wound if you wanted to, help prevent infection. It's a, a handy one to know. And one of the more amazing things about pinene is that uh, they believe it's good for short-term memory. So you'll remember where you left your car keys, or, or in our case, where I left the walking stick. Don't forget it. And the other thing that uh, we like pine for is not just, uh, you know, the, the lovely pine needles, but also the pine nuts. As you know, pine nuts are a luxury food item. They can be $30 a pound. So if you even gather just a little handful, you're probably saving five bucks. And of course, they they have all three macronutrients. They have uh, protein, fats, and carbs. So it's uh, essentially a meal in itself. And they're really tasty, especially if you toast them up in a hot pan. Oh yeah, excellent. A little salt. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Tasty, tasty. Another good thing about pine is the pitch is known to be, if there's any on here we can show you, the pitch is known to be antiseptic. It doesn't seem to be leaking off of this one, but you can use the gooey pitch on like a wound to help keep it from getting infected. It'll be uh, a bit sticky, so what you want to do is find uh, some sort of a uh, moss. There's often like old man's beard or usnea growing off of these trees, and you can use that to keep the uh, sticky pine pitch from being too sticky or getting more dirt on it and that sort of thing. Help keep it clean. So it's sort of a you know, free band-aid essentially, and we've certainly done that before. And the pitch can be used as a glue or a binder or a waterproofing agent. It's a really, really handy one to, to, to know, especially as far as pitches go. There's some crystallized stuff there. And you can use the old stuff, the new stuff, it all has various properties. There's lots that you can learn about it. Definitely go look it up. Beautiful little purple flowers coming up here. And one thing that not everybody knows is the pollen itself isn't just a, an annoyance to you and that yellow coating on your car. It's also you know, very, fairly commonly known to be nutritious, but what is starting to catch on in the bodybuilding building world is that this pine pollen also has a naturally occurring and water-soluble androgen. And I know, if you know what that means, that means steroids. It's essentially a testosterone, and it doesn't have very much in it. You'll have to sort of concentrate it if you, uh, you want to take advantage of that, but it's probably better used as a, uh, a low-level testosterone replacer. For example, if you're a male, as you get older, you will start to produce less testosterone. You may need a boost, and this is a good way to get it. You go, how do we harvest the pollen? Well, it's pretty easy. As you probably know, even the slightest breeze will knock it off of there. And so what you'll want to do is wrap like a plastic bag around the, uh, you know, the, the branch or the bough and start giving it a shake. And you can see it's just, there's tons of it. Look at that beautiful, beautiful yellow, yellow, golden yellow stuff. Mm. You can eat it right up just like that if you wanted to, but it'll uh, sort of concentrate or collect down in the bottom of the bag. And you can put it in capsules and eat it if you want. And there's lots of information online on how to do that exactly. It's not something we're doing yet. You know, we're not quite that old and not into bodybuilding. We like to stay light and lean, not have to move a lot of weight around up and down these hills. And out here in the Wallowa Whit Whitman National Forest, the you know, high country can be pretty steep. So it doesn't help to have a little boost as you go. But uh, that's just one of the many, many amazing things. In addition to the needles, the pitch, and the wood itself, I, it's just a storehouse, a powerhouse, an amazing, you know, smell, good smelling. It's food, it's medicine, you know, it's a tool, it's glue, amazing stuff. Just from the little humble pine tree, you'd never think of it. Just walk right past it and you'd never know that it was 
just such a literally it's like walking past a store essentially it's got the pharmacy it's got the hardware section it's got the, the grocery store everything you could ask for in a tree it's right up there with uh, redwoods and cedars as our top favorite tree you know it's just so lovely we love you pine if it wasn't for all your pollen we'd give you a big old hug here but you should definitely uh, thank pine whenever you see it from all for all the gifts it can give you and we want to thank you so very much for joining us here in the Walla Walla Whitman National Forest to take a look at one of our favorite trees, pine.